everybody, it's finally time. I think a lot of people have been waiting for this, but I'm actually going through and I'm going to start assembling the ITBs for the M20 E30. So I'm gonna put the whole set together just to get a, a feel for what they look like and see the, the final product, which will eventually be in the car. Um, but I think once I do the actual install in the car, which will still be another month or two away, um, I think it needs to, you know, go in on in sections. So this, uh, this assembly is just gonna be to see what it looks like and just to have some fun playing with the ITBs for a little bit. So luckily the ITBs do come with instructions. Uh, it has a list of all the parts that come in the kit and then basically the instructions are just uh, photos of it. So there's a short little paragraph about it, but then it's just photos. So uh, for visual learners, I guess it's good, but I guess matching the hardware might be a little iffy. Um, so I've laid out all of the, the bolts that they gave us and I'm just gonna go through it. They're all different sizes. So hopefully that does narrow it down like what goes where um, and I'm just gonna just going to start going through the photos and uh, putting it together. But we'll start putting these on. Um, luckily, this photo that they have is to scale, so you kind of can, I guess, use that to measure out the three millimeter spacing that we need. So these are super thin, and the instructions do say, you know, tighten it firmly, but don't over tighten it. Uh, I guess because they are so thin, they're easy to compress or crack or bend. Check it against our picture. It looks fairly close to three mils, so we'll keep that one. Spacing's looking consistent. Moving on to the next step, I got a little bit lucky. Um, let's see if I can get the paper back out. So like this part, it has you attaching uh, this, which is gonna be like, it has the idle stop screw in it. Uh, and then, you know, you're adjusting it and then there's this big component that you got to put together. Uh, the kit, I don't know if he's changed the kit since the uh, instructions were made, but basically that piece was already on and adjusted properly. And this apparatus was also uh, already pre-assembled, so it saves me two steps. It's not a big deal, but it, it's nice to have, you know, a few more components. So now I'll just go ahead and I have everything mapped out to this diagram and we'll just go ahead and uh, tighten it all down, put it together. Okay, so I got a little bit ahead of myself kind of doing this step of putting everything together. Um, you can see this piece, I wasn't really sure which of the two brackets to use, but then on the next diagram, uh, it definitely looks like the longer of the two brackets. And then this is telling me that that uh, black piece isn't actually supposed to lock in there. It's just supposed to be a two to three millimeter distance. So I've gone ahead and uh, taken everything back apart that I just did. And you can see I have this set up now with the distance I need. And then I'll go ahead and use this bracket instead of this shorter one I had on earlier. Basically now I just have to go back through and redo everything I've just taken apart. So how I'm setting this up is the bracket basically flush at this point. So not too much sliding through. Um, if we need to make that adjustment later, we certainly can. Okay, I think that should be how that piece goes on. Uh, we don't have the in the diagram yet exactly how these bolts are supposed to be run through. I guess we need to adjust these joints to line that up a little bit better. Looks like that will be good. So I'll go ahead, grab the bolt, get it set in top and then just crank on these little guys to make sure that that's all locked into place. Okay, I, I think now we can finally say that this piece is put together and hopefully it's the right bracket, right spot so we don't have to kind of backtrack anymore. So I'm skipping around a little bit. Uh, I'm just starting to get all of the spacers on um, just to kind of mock this part up. One thing to note, the instructions do say that there is an arrow on here and it's supposed to point towards the engine side. So we got that at least uh, figured out. So just gonna run through, I guess there's gonna be 12 bolts in total. Just kind of get these in there snug. And then I guess once we get this side on, so this is gonna be kind of the, the plenum side out here, uh, I'll go ahead and get these on. I guess these are the runners and they'll be on the, the backhand side towards the table. All the little pairs will be matched together. You can see I have this piece on, here's the other piece, and they'll just kind of sit in there together so that they can all be triggered off of one throttle cable once we have that attached. 
Okay, at that point everything's finger tight. So we have these two other pieces. They're gonna be identical for the outside. This is the this is the one for the middle unit. You can see it has the bigger port. So that'll be there. And then basically what we'll have to do is just line everything up here and then run the bolts through. Okay, there's one piece put together. And I like these are still kind of just finger tight. Uh, we're just mocking it up to see what it looks like. So with that done, I'll go through the rest of them and get all six pieces put together. And we'll be one step closer to seeing what the final product will look like. Check it out, we have the full unit basically assembled. Uh, not everything's tight and like we still need a few bits, but this is kind of mechanically fully assembled. I'll have to adjust. You can see kind of the, the outer two uh, pairs are slightly open where the middle one, which it's set off of is closed. So we'll have to synchronize everything eventually, but there's still a few things missing. Um, let's see, I have to tilt it up to show, but you can see clearly this, this hole down here is where the vacuum is gonna be run. Um, so I still have to do all of kind of the vacuum hoses and setting everything up like that But I think that's probably going to be closer to when I'm actually putting it into the car and then clearly I'll put the cover on and then everything will kind of bolt through to secure this on I just wanted to mock it up now to see how it is like that So what I'm basically gonna have next for the ITB series I'm actually gonna go through and wire in the standalone ECU that I'm gonna be using I have the Mega Squirt 2 for that. Um, so we'll have one video of putting that in and then I'll have another video of the installation of the ITBs into the car. And then probably at that point it should be up and running. Hopefully we have a nice clean first start, everything idles smoothly. And then I'll move into the actual little bit of tuning that we might have to do to get the ITBs really nice. Um, but we're, we're getting close. It's starting to warm up outside, so I'm really itching to get this project kind of wrapped up in uh, driving. One last look at the ITBs. Everything kind of went together pretty smoothly, just following the instructions and taking it one bolt at a time. So yeah, there it is. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to see these next few videos as they come out. Uh, it would do me a lot of help if you guys do that and of course like the video and leave some comments so that I can know what you guys think about the ITBs. I'm super excited to get these in. Uh, almost time. Almost there. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching.